Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. The Royal Court announced that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will head tomorrow to Saudi Arabia, where he will lead Bahrain's delegation to the 40th GCC summit. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa congratulated the national team players on winning the 24th Gulf Cup in Qatar for the first time in the history of Bahraini football ever since the championship was first launched almost 50 years ago. His Majesty extended deepest thanks to all the national team on their historic and honorable achievements, hailing their impressive performance during the championship. He praised the team's high spirits and determination, which enabled them to honor the homeland and lift their coveted trophy with merit. He hailed the achievement, which reflects Bahrain's football standing in the Gulf, regional and international arenas, expressing the hope that the achievement would serve as a catalyst for players to look forward to more trophies in the future championships. His Majesty the King extended thanks and appreciation to the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailing his dedicated efforts to motivate and encourage the national team players. He also commended the efforts exerted by the Bahrain Football Association, chaired by Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, for the team's good preparation, which ensured their success in winning the trophy. His Majesty the King praised all national efforts to support and encourage the national team to attain this landmark honorable achievement, hailing the administrative and technical staff. He saluted Bahrainis and residents who supported the national team and encouraged the players to win the historic title, commending the press and the media for supporting the national team. His Majesty the King hailed the historic achievement, which represents a crucial turning point in the march of football in the Kingdom of Bahrain. He noted that the achievement has brought joy to all the people of Bahrain, expressing confidence in the ability of this generation of players to continue the march of excellence and winning more trophies. His Majesty the King also congratulated the brotherly Saudi national team, hailing their outstanding performance and wishing them further success in the march. His Majesty reiterated keenness on supporting the youth and sports movement and develop all sports in the Kingdom of Bahrain for the national team to continue their march and honor Bahrain in future championships. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the historic achievement of Bahrain's national team in winning the 24th Gulf Cup. His Royal Highness hailed the honorable achievement, which bolsters Bahrain's standing in the regional and international arenas, paying tribute to His Majesty the King for his royal support, which enabled sports in Bahrain to attain advanced levels and win trophies. His Royal Highness pledged to continue exerting all efforts to achieve the royal aspirations and promote wide-ranging development in all fields, paying tribute to His Majesty the King for his wise vision. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa over the national team's victory in the 24th Gulf Cup. His Royal Highness extended congratulations to His Majesty the King, which is a great athletic achievement that represents a source of pride and adds to the list of the Kingdom's athletic achievements over the years thanks to the support of His Majesty for Bahraini sports. His Royal Highness said that the national team's victory raised Bahrain's banner high thanks to the efforts of the members of the team as well as all the government, private and civil society sectors, all of whom contributed to making this historical achievement. In a message to the world marking the International Human Rights Day to be celebrated this year under the theme Youth Standing Up for Human Rights, His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa stressed that Bahrain has made respect for human rights and the preservation is an essential pillar of its development process. His Royal Highness added that this implemented through an integrated vision and a modern system of legislation and laws that promotes the rights of individuals and provide them with the requirements of decent life. He also noted that the right of well-being well and decent living conditions constitutes a human goal guaranteed by religious laws and international covenants of which is un the un Universal Declaration of Human Rights. His Royal Highness asserted that the world co conscience is the es essence of protecting human rights and that everyone has a responsibility to listen to their conscience to achieve a peaceful and a war-free world in which lofty values incited by divine religious prevail. He affirmed that Bahrain, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, is rich with pioneering development and human rights accomplishments and ensuring human rights and public freedoms, supported by sustainable growth and human development, indicators making it a model that is highly appreciated by international institutions. 
His Royal Highness also underscored the necessity of international communities' cooperation to build a world that enjoys security and stability. He said the first step to achieve this goal is through a concrete belief and collective responsibility as an instrument to defend the present and future of mankind in light of overwhelming conflicts, disputes and wars that have exhausted the capabilities of states and people, causing their setbacks. His Royal Highness praised this year's theme being focused on the importance of promoting youth participation and employing their potential as a catalyst towards building a better world. He pointed out that the youth enjoys a lot of interest in all development plans adopted by the Kingdom of Bahrain, confirming his belief that youth are the real investment in the future. He praised the pre perseverance and strength of the youth of Bahrain in achieving the highest levels of creativity and excellence in various fields and making outstanding contributions to serving the homeland through continuous keenness to obtain knowledge so as to be more effective in raising the name of Bahrain at various gatherings. His Royal Highness called on the international community to reinforce joint efforts to translate the principles and values that the Universal Declaration of Human Rights includes into initiatives for development and construction that preserve human dignity and security in light of the current tension and disputes in the world. His Royal Highness praised the efforts made by the United Nations in building international partnerships that enhance security and stability in the world. He reiterated the Kingdom of Bahrain's support for all international initiatives aimed at promoting human rights and ensuring a decent life for humanity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, marking the victory of the national team of the 24th Gulf Cup. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince asserted that the efforts exerted by the government have had a great impact on the historic achievement, praying Allah the Almighty to accomplish all that can contribute in the development of the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the historic achievement of Bahrain's national team who won the 24th Gulf Cup and the national team and their high and distinguished levels which was a source of pride for the country and its people. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of the team players and their determination to make this honorable achievement, which embodies the development of Bahraini sports at all levels. His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, noting His Highness's role in developing and supporting the youth and sports sector and the national team players. His Royal Highness hailed the efforts of the Bahrain Football Association led by Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and the role of the technical and administrative bodies of the national football team wishing everyone success. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa called the President of the Bahrain Football Association, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa, Deputy President Sheikh Khalid bin Salman Al Khalifa and Bahrain Football Team Captain Sayyid Mohammed Jafar to convey to them the greetings and congratulations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on winning the 24th Gulf Cup. His Royal Highness hailed the performance of the players as well as their high fighting spirits that led to the historic achievement that brought immense joy to all Bahrainis. He asked them to convey the greetings and congratulations of His Majesty the King to all the players and staff of the national team and the football association. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, extended congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for Bahrain's victory in the Gulf Cup for the first time after defeated Saudi Arabia. His Highness said that the Gulf dream has been realized and that it represents a historic achievement in the era of His Majesty the King, who supports Bahraini sports and directs the development of Bahraini football. He added that this represents the second great achievement for the football team after winning the West Asian Football Federation Championship and the Bahraini football is on its way toward further progress and development. His Highness said that this achievement, which has been awaited since the launch of the Gulf Cup in Bahrain in 1970, and this is yet another achievement for the football team.
He said that this has been achieved due to the chemistry between the national team players who are confident in their abilities and are highly motivated to raise a kingdom's banner in the golden era of Bahraini achievements and for whom His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation for the players. He added that this sporting achievement comes as a result of the efforts of Bahrain's athletic community which has supported the national team as well as the fans who have contributed to motivating the players. His Highness commended the high level of performance of the Saudi national team who represented a difficult opponent for the Bahraini national team and wished the Saudi team success in the future. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of Bahrain Athletics Association and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness a Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness a Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the victory of the national team in the 24th Gulf Cup. His Highness expressed pride in the historic achievement made by the national football team, which is the result of the unlimited support of His Majesty the King that contributed to achieving honorable results in regional and international participations, which promoted the kingdom on the sports map. He added that what was achieved is a living, living result of His Highness Sheikh Nasser's vision to develop Bahraini football, beginning with winning the first football championship in the Golden Age, which was the West Asian champion, and now the 24th Gulf Cup. His Highness praised the distinguished technical level presented by the national team throughout the matches of this championship and hailed the great role played by the technical and administrative bodies in preparing the players to achieve this outstanding result. He congratulated the president of the Bahrain Football Association, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and all its members and affiliates on this honorable result, praising the association's efforts to create the appropriate atmosphere and preparing the national teams to participate in competitions to achieve such honorable results. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, took part in the 144th Ministerial Preparatory Meeting for the 40th Supreme Council of the GCC Summit, which was held at the GCC's headquarters in Riyadh. The Foreign Minister discussed draft resolutions and recommendations submitted by relevant ministerial committees to their majesties and excellencies, the leaders of the GCC states, which aim to strengthen the mechanisms of joint Gulf action at all levels. He also discussed the communique draft that will be issued by the meeting to be held tomorrow in Riyadh. They also held a joint meeting with the head of the representatives from the Consultative Commission of the Supreme Council, where they discussed visions and studies entrusted to them by the Supreme Council in its 38th meeting. The Minister of Foreign Affairs had arrived in Riyadh to take part in the 145th preparatory meeting where he was received by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Prince Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah al-Saud, as well as the Secretary General of the GCC, Abdul Latif bin Rashid al-Zayani. The foreign ministers of the GCC are in Riyadh to set the agenda for the 40th GCC summit due to kick off tomorrow in the Saudi capital. More on this report with our correspondent in Riyadh, Mohammed al-Shaban. Their Excellencies, the foreign ministers of the GCC, convened in Riyadh this morning to finalize the agenda ahead of the GCC summit due to take place in the Saudi capital. The summit, in its 40th edition, is expected to discuss several important political and defense issues. This comes at a time of a growing threat from Iran and its continuous interference in domestic affairs through its proxies, as well as a widening scope of political instability in neighboring nations. The GCC leaders are expected to discuss the resulting security situation and its effects on the stability of the member states. Uh, like you pointed out, the stability of the lesions, because uh, as you might know or not, but the, our Japanese tanker was also attacked in the Strait of Homs, and the stability of the region is quite crucial for the oil import for the, our country. Well, we are very concerned because uh, uh, much of the, our oil export is relying on the Middle East, and so the, and also the, what happened in the facility in Aramco was very alarming. Several economic and social issues are also expected to top the summit's agenda. This comes from the unified vision of reinforcing progress in the countries of the bloc, this while strengthening integration among the member states. We are now in Riyadh to attend the summit. Everyone is optimistic, and we hope that this summit will bring a positive decisions that serve the purpose of the GCC vision. We hope this will be the summit of success to our member states.
The GCC was established in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia in May of 1981 with the purpose of achieving unity among its members based on their common objectives and their similar political and cultural identities. Tomorrow, the leaders return to Riyadh to reinforce this vision. This summit has been receiving much hype in the global and regional media as it comes at a time of shifting political developments and growing challenges in the region. The GCC Secretary General, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, expressed confidence that the summit will result in constructive decisions that will strengthen the Gulf cohesion and deepen cooperation and integration among the member countries. The foreign ministers are finalizing the agenda here at the GCC General Secretariat in Riyadh as the bloc prepares to kick off its summit on Wednesday amid pressing political and defense issues. Mohamed Shaban, Bahrain International News from the Saudi capital, Riyadh. Asian Football Confederation President and FIFA Vice President Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa extended his sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, marking Bahrain's victory in the 24th Gulf Cup. Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim said the historical achievement of the national team is a result of the royal patronage of the leadership to the sports movement in the kingdom and the continuous support to the national team. He also congratulated the representatives of His Maj Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Lubbock Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for the great achievement praising their support to Bahraini football. Meanwhile, joy spread across the kingdom on the occasion of Bahrain making history after winning the 24th Gulf Cup where citizens went out to express their happiness with their historic achievement of Bahrain football. The streets of the kingdom of Bahrain were filled with the masses of citizens who gathered from all parts of the kingdom to express their sincere patriotic feelings in a wonderful national scene that reflects their loyalty and belonging to the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Citizens and residents extended sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and His Highness Sheikh Nasser and expressed appreciation for the continuous support and persistence to make further achievements to raise the name of the kingdom in regional and international forums. We just witnessed history. Well, how does it make you feel? I feel amazing. I feel proud personally. and I've never witnessed something like this. I'm very honored and proud to be a part of the people that saw it. It means a lot to the country, to the people, as you can see. How excited are you that we actually made history and we took the cup back home? Uh, to be honest, uh, to be a component with the Saudi uh, team, it was an unexpected winning, but I was sure that we will win today as the, as the team uh, is being stronger like every year. I really expected to win today. And as I showed here actually, between all the crowd here, I'm like, I'm so happy. I'm so, I'm so speechless. I'm so, so speechless about what happened about a moment ago. I'm so speechless and I can't, I can't. I can't like say anything right now. I'm just so, so happy and proud of our team, of our Bahraini team. I'm so proud. The International Freedom Religious Roundtable of the MENA region concluded its work, gathering a number of decision makers and religious figures, as well as representatives of religious institutions in the region and the world. More on this report. King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, in cooperation with This is Bahrain, organized the International Freedom Religious Roundtable for the MENA region in order to enhance religious freedom with economic development in the presence of a number of decision makers and religious figures. Well, we're very proud today that Bahrain has now become the Middle East and North Africa headquarters for the International Religious Freedom Roundtable based in Washington, D.C., and also the International Religious Freedom Business Foundation, uh, also based in Washington, D.C. Uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain was the natural choice for both of, of these organizations to choose as their partner, and the King Hamid Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence um, has initiated um, these wonderful 
wonderful events today. Uh, the basis of all of our work, of course, is the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration, as written by His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. All of these incredible religious leaders from around the world, from all faiths and all doctrines, have all universally acclaimed and adopted His Majesty's words in the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration. The meeting aims to affirm that economic prosperity and peaceful coexistence are in line together as creating a safe environment with diversity will contribute to achieving better productivity. Today's roundtable discussion uh, is uh, one, of, uh, important, one of the important events here in the Kingdom of Bahrain where we uh, welcome their holiness, their eminence, their grace uh, here to the Kingdom of Bahrain. It was indeed a privilege also to meet with the Chief Rabbi of Jerusalem, uh, Rabbi Shlomo Amar. And, uh, the purpose of the roundtable discussion, where peaceful coexistence is a very important factor, uh, not only for peace, but also to help economic growth of countries, the importance of having respect for one another in any society that helps to further develop the progress of any nation. Uh, special thanks also to His Majesty, leadership, the nation, for uh, how proud we all are as Bahraini citizens. Each and every one of us carry uh, in our DNA, the embodiment of uh, peaceful coexistence, something that we're very proud of to share with each and every person that we meet. The meeting also included the exchange of opinions and points of views regarding various issues in the region and coming up with the proper solutions to overcome these challenges that are forming obstacles in front of religious tolerance and peaceful coexistence. My personal passion is to see that the world will be united together and that there will be a single agenda of international peace and harmony. So that's uh, one of the main focus in my personal life to which I am committed. The world is, or in a, in a sense, a majority of the people, including the perhaps the world religious leaders, are in a very panic situation uh, to give very negative note in the whole scenario, uh, whereas uh, the, uh, His Majesty the King of uh, Bahrain has been taking so much of pain and initiative to see that uh, the whole transformation in and through the inter-religious uh, uh, flavor and, uh, and activity can be envisaged so that uh, it can be enhanced at the, uh, the humanity at large. This meeting represents a productive cooperation between the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence and the International Freedom Religious Institution in Washington, which aims to enhance the values of religious freedom and peaceful coexistence. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. And before we end the news, here is a reminder of the top stories. The Royal Court announces that His Majesty the King will head tomorrow to Saudi Arabia where he will lead Bahrain's delegation to the 40th GCC summit. And kingdom-wide celebrations take place following a historic win for Bahrain in the 24th Gulf Cup final against Saudi Arabia.